Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the water inlet valve on your dishwasher, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is an adjustable wrench, a pair of pliers, and a 516 nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the inlet water valve on this dishwasher is located to the left-hand side in behind the access panel. So simply you need to remove the access panel, turn off the water supply, and disconnect the power, and you can change the valve from the front with the dishwasher installed. It is a little tight, but it can be done. For demonstration purposes, we pulled the dishwasher out and we're going to tilt it up on its side to show you a better view. Now with the dishwasher laying on its back, you got a better idea of how to do this repair. As I mentioned, you will need to disconnect the power supply to the dishwasher, so you'll want to find the breaker or fuse panel, disconnect it there, and also shut off the incoming water. And once you remove the water supply to the valve, we'll next take the fitting off while we have the valve mounted to the frame of the dishwasher. So with an adjustable wrench, we'll simply unthread that. And we'll save the adapter that fit onto the old valve because we will reuse it on our new valve. We'll just need to clean up the Teflon tape or pipe dope that is on there and make sure we have nice clean threads to work with when we reinstall. Next, we can disconnect the wire harness to the solenoid on the valve. Then we can remove the two 516 screws that secure the valve to the frame of the dishwasher. And then we can rotate that valve enough so that we can see the clamp that holds the outlet hose. So with our pliers, we're just going to slide that clamp back out of the way. And then we can pull that hose right off. And we can discard the old valve. Now we'll take the new valve and just line up where it's going to sit. So we we'll want to make sure that we install that outlet hose such that it won't twist when we put it back into position. And we'll slide the clamp onto the valve. Next, we'll replace the two screws. We we'll want to make sure that we tighten those screws securely. We can next reconnect the wire harness. Make sure it's on all the way. Now next we'll reinstall the fitting that we took off of the old valve. Now before we install that fitting, we are going to want to put some Teflon tape on the threads. Or if you use a liquid type of pipe dope, we'll need to make sure that we apply that. Carefully thread the fitting in, making sure that it doesn't get cross-threaded. And then we'll tighten that with our adjustable wrench. You may need to support that bracket while you're tightening that fitting so that we don't bend anything. And then make sure it is pointing in the same direction that the old fitting was. Now we can reconnect the inlet water supply, the power, put our access panel back on, and our repair is complete. 